You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. On the morning of Saturday, the 21st of May, the political parties who will participate in the fifth election of the Commune Sankrat Council have started their campaign marches to complete the people's vote for their party. EAC News reporter Deccan Lin has more. The largest party in Cambodia, the Cambodian People's Party, has launched a nationwide election campaign, showing the strength of millions of supporters while other parties seem less active. In a message dated September 21st of May 2022, on behalf of the CPP, the president has pledged in front of the people that the party will successfully implement its policies to maintain peace, stability, security, order, social security, improve the provision of public services, increase social protection, increase the health of the poor and vulnerable, and developing communes in all fields to meet with the higher aspirations and interests of all the people everywhere. CPP's President Hun Sen said for the past 43 years after the overthrow of the genocidal regime of Pol Pot with the historic victory on the 7th of January 1979, the Cambodian People's Party has led the nation through countless obstacles and difficulties to move forward on the right path that fully responds to the aspirations of the people to achieve great achievements in all areas. He added that the Cambodian people are now living happily in peace and national unity to develop society and improve their lives. CPP supporter Seng Ling Chai has been a supporter for a long time and wishes everyone to go vote. <laughs> In addition, John Pierrot believes that voting is the people's right and duty. On the first day of this campaign, another interested party that also marched in Phnom Penh is the Candlelight Party. Although party supporters say that the democracy in Cambodia does not seem to be complete, they are happy to be campaigning and voting this year. A resident of the Godlight Commune, Sovina 50, is happy to see her party campaigning once again. ລະບາດຍົ້ມຄືສະບາຍຈັດພໍເຈິງຄານ <laughs> Another 50-year-old supporter of the Candlelight Party who wishes to remain anonymous does not believe that the election will be fully democratic. <laughs> Today's campaign includes marches from the CPP, Candlelight Party, and other parties, which ran smoothly, non discriminatory, non violent, and equally. The National Election Committee also called on all local authorities to take a neutral position in their work and to coordinate the location, road, and time for each political party to implement their programs and their campaign marches. Sam Kuntiemi, NAFIC Executive Director, noted that on the first day of the campaign, there were two parties that launched large-scale campaigns, the Cambodian People's Party and the Canonlight Party, and did not see any irregularities in the campaign. NEC spokesman Hong Puntir told EAC News that the first day of the election campaign went smoothly, with a large number of participants, good cooperation and local authorities, and on violence which shows the political party's maturity in Cambodia. Young Kao Santan Tabong, the Kojabom and the Tulban, 
ហើយបានដឹងឬក៏ប៉ញ្ហាអសកម្មណាកាត់មានចឹងអាចសន្ដាន the 14-day election campaign runs from the 21st of May to the 3rd of June and is held every five years. Each party can hold a gathering, campaign marches by foot or by vehicles, hand out flyers, promote through speakers, or publish videos to promote their political programs and seek support from the electorate. The 5th Commune Sankat Council election will be held on the 5th of June with the participation of 17 political parties. These parties will compete to hold commune council seats, which are 11,622 nationwide from 1,352 communes and cut, with more than 9.2 million registered voters.